What are you hearing as it relates to Zeke's destination? Well, Laura, when we look at those three teams, what do we see? We see three potential contenders this season. The Jets, obviously, if they have Aaron Rodgers move higher up onto that list along with the Eagles and the Bengals. So this is clearly a situation where Zeke is saying, look, I've done it all. I've made the money. Now I want to chase a championship. The question becomes, where is the best fit? I mean, you could look at the Jets. I know it feels like we're sort of assembling this dream team of names, but it actually does make sense given that Brees Hall is dealing with the torn ACL recovery. They could use a running back. They'll have to sign somebody. The Bengals, on the other hand, makes sense because we really don't know about Joe Mixon's future. Uh, and the Eagles, well, I mean, a Cowboys running back, a Cowboys legend mm. going to the Eagles to finish out his career, that too feels like a storyline too uh, amazing to ignore. Yeah, that one uh, surprised me just a little bit, but maybe there's a little bit of a, hey, I'd like to you know, play in the NFC yeah. East and show you a little something. It, what do you think about potential destinations, those three teams? Yeah. For well, I would actually say, kind of to your point, the, the Eagles actually seems to make the least amount of sense right. for me. The other two, and, and Jeff just touched on it, you look at the situation for the Jets. Obviously, Brees Hall is coming off the ACL injury. Bam Knight's a young back, an older back that will not have to carry the load for the entire season, assuming Brees Hall comes back healthy. Uh, Zonovan Knight, you know, back in the mix. And so I think that is a, a team that would certainly be interesting. And I would just say this about the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, and, and people that have talked about Z maybe being a little bit slower, got 22 rushing touchdowns in the mm. last two seasons. Mm -hmm. That's it, he is still an exceptional situational runner. So meaning short yardage and goal line runner. And so if you have that ability to be part of your offense, that changes things quite a bit. If you're if you're Cincinnati, that would be one I would watch for sure. I would say that the Eagles doesn't make sense, but for different reasons. It's not the playing of Ezekiel Elliott. I think if you're going to go to the Eagles, they've seen you kill them year after year after year. They might want some of that on their side now, even if it's not quite as explosive as it used to be. But if I'm Zeke Elliott, I'm not going to Philly because I don't want to tarnish my Cowboys legacy. Hmm. I feel like that is a part of, of his story that he has to think about because going to the Eagles definitely gives them an opportunity to win. But I look at this and I say the Jets are the best fit. You talked about Zonovan now. You talk about Brees Hall. Michael Carter is also there. But Ezekiel Elliott, if you want to get him motivated to go out and give it a last hoorah, why not go to the Jets with a guy like Aaron Rodgers who can pull the best out of you? I think that would be an interesting fit. And if we get Ezekiel Elliott, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> OBJ, all these guys in New York, I mean, we're going to have a frenzy on NFL Live and first take and get up for the entire year. It'll be glorious. Yeah, I mean, listen, like it, it all sounds great, right? We're just waiting for it all to happen. Although the Jets have been not so quietly even assembling this team of a lot of good players as they've made some moves even this week. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.